The Senegalese delegates were warmly received by the Comptroller General of Customs at the Customs Headquarters in Abuja. Getting down to business, Colonel Papa Ndai made known their mission to the Comptroller General while also conveying warm facilitations from the head of Senegalese Customs Administration. They acknowledged the leadership role played by the Nigeria Customs Service within the West and Central African Customs region and hoped to leverage on the experience and expertise of the Nigeria Customs Service offices in facilitating trade in a highly technical area like oil and gas. Nigeria Customs Service has a great uh, knowledge in the area of uh, oil and gas. The role of Nigeria Customs Service is practically spelled out within the legal framework that is uh, existing in our administration. So they've come to learn from this uh, experience and uh, from the professionalism that is existing in this domain. The Comptroller General let them know that the doors of the Nigeria Customs Service were always open to them and promised to make available the right caliber of officers and men that would help fashion out procedures that would enable them to meet the challenges of facilitating trade in this highly competitive sector. So the exporter shall also collect and complete a bill of lading declaration. A presentation by the National PRO of Customs, Deputy Comptroller Timi Bomodi, gave the delegation an idea of export guidelines for oil and gas in Nigeria. So the terminal operator shall inform the PIA of all scheduled exports and provide all relevant details relating to vessels nomination. The pre-shipment inspection agent shall submit monthly quarterly and annual statistical returns on export transactions to the Federal Ministry of Finance, to the Central Bank of Nigeria, the Federal Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment, Department of Petroleum Resources, National Bureau of Statistics, Office of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, and the Nigerian Customs Service. The delegation, after taking the leave from Customs Headquarters, proceeded to Boney Island in River State, for a tour of LNG facilities. There, they were received by the general manager operations and other staff who gave a brief history of their organization and took them through its operations. The, actual of what the, the, the delegation was given a tour of the complex and shown the first class marine training institute equipped with the state-of-the-art simulation equipment for training seafarers. This visit marks the beginning of an era of regional cooperation targeted at staff training and development of customs officers. Abdul Karim Zermi, NCBN, Abuja. Uh,